Hello to all my dreams and dreamers out there. The demon is speaking. And as you all can more or less see, I'm back to play again. And today, it's not just going to be me playing random matches. I'm actually going to be going back to rank mode. Because it is seriously time that I get my ass to it and more or less rank up. Now, I'm gonna admit, I am not 100% a perfect hunter main. I'm a pretty good one. I can normally get everybody in a match. There is always normally a few times where two or one person are actually able to escape me. I mean, hey, that's fine. They did it. They figured out where the hatch is or they got the door open on me. Hey, props to them. But with this, I'm gonna be trying and going full out and trying to make sure I get everybody. And I'm gonna say now ranking up in Survivor is definitely harder so far from what I've seen than ranking up as a hunter. Okay. I'm so surprised I have not gotten matched yet. There we go. No names. Alright. And this is a little thing for everybody out there. If you ever find me as your hunter, don't be afraid to ask me to be go easy, because I will. Like, I still get points in the end, so like it's not much of a problem to me. It's just don't expect me to be friendly to you if you didn't say anything in the mat in like the lobby. And I'll say no, I'm sorry if I ever accidentally miss any of your messages saying, could you please be nice? Cause Sometimes in the chat, it like speeds up so fast that I don't notice. And plus, I'm not normally always looking over in the back area to notice if you, anybody says anything. So like, sorry there. <laughs> Being me, I get distracted very easily. My mind's not always focused perfectly. All of my teachers can tell you the same thing. <laughs> and I am rambling once again. Wee! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get this going. Okay. We got Arms Factory as the map. Let's get a hunting. Now here's the thing with me. I've more or less mostly memorized only the Leo's memory map very well. It's like all the other ones I don't have too much of a good grasp on. God damn it! I almost thought I had that shot. Fucking hell! Okay, got one shot on you. What the fuck? There you are. Okay, I literally hate it whenever they start doing that. Because I know it's supposed to at least help people whenever Geisha's like coming or she's zooming at you, but on the normal chase. God, that screws me up so easily. Okay. Now I'm just gonna chill over here. Okay, no ciphers have been completed yet. We only have one decoder on the team. Okay, it looks like someone's relatively close by. Because in that angle, there's no ciphers, so that had to have been a vault or throwing out a pallet. Now there's a fuck up on a cipher. Here's the thing with me, I always try to pay attention to where the symbol pops up to dictate whether or not that was somebody just moving around or actually being on a cipher to begin with. Because if you see it's not in any direction that's pointing it's from a cipher, that means it's you shouldn't go after it right away. You should definitely try to be at least somewhat more careful. Okay, looks like everybody's coming. Sorry, and baller. Your rescue was in vain. I so oh my friend, she actually recently did actually get in baller permanently. So she no longer has to like pray for like free day events or like the day that Emballer is one of the free people to use. Because <laughs> she doesn't always have fun playing as nurse. 
God fucking damn it. I was a second too late. Get over here. Okay. Grab. Thank you. I am very notorious for not actually lining myself up to grab people. Um, I see you in baller. If you thought that was smart, then you're a fool. I still have no eyes on the mechanic yet. And I'm not sure if she already deployed her robot. Well, in other words, the doll. I'm not sure why people call it a doll when it's a, a robot. Can anybody, like, clarify that for me? Because <laughs> I don't understand why. I see you, Imballer. I got my eyes on you, fool. Ah, there's the mechanic. Oh, I think she actually has the same skin. Oh, no, she has a teddy bear skin. Oh, that's so cute. I know some people actually get kind of mad over this fact that Normally, if you get freed off the chair, hunters go straight after you still sometimes. That's the point. I normally just go after you again because I know that you only have one hit point left on you. And normally, it's because I already had you on the chair to begin with and you were already on there for a good while. I had no idea and saw where the fuck... Oh, hello. You fucked up. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Fuck! Hey, I aimed for the fucking doll. Get the fuck out of my way. Come back here. Why did I do that? Back. Got gotcha you in the end. Knowing by now, I feel like the Emballer already ran off and found the hatch and is camping it at the moment. Because once the mechanic here is gone, his coffin's gonna be useless. Oh. Howdy. Did I miss that? Get over here. Gotcha. This is also one of the rough parts when playing Hunters that I normally don't always remember where all the chairs are on maps. Some of them they're always easier to remember where certain ones are. And then there's me, who I can never remember where the fuck some are, and I always kind of panic for a quick moment. Props to all those people out there who can easily remember where the fuck every single chair is as a hunter main. Y'all are the kings and queens. My stupid ass can't ever fucking remember, that's normally why I sometimes lose people whenever I have them ballooned, just because I couldn't remember where the fuck the stupid chairs were. I missed! How is this possible? Oh, you gave yourself up. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Eh, fuck. Door. And y'all did not even get a single cypher done. I kind of feel bad now. Well, in any case, y'all were trying very hard. Here's the thing, in my opinion, if someone gets chaired before any single cipher is done, don't bother with going for them. Unless they might be a rescue character, otherwise, try to give them a hand and get them out of there. Because they might be able to help you prolong the, the round longer to at least make sure you get more done. In any other case, if it's like any other character type, I feel like... 
one casualty is okay to try and get that win. I mean, if it's like been a little bit in the game and then, then they got caught, then yeah, I feel like maybe, yeah, you should take a moment to go get them. But if it's like straight up very close in the beginning of the game and like not even a single cipher got done yet, I feel like you really shouldn't bother to go save them. Other than that, that's how I normally feel about the whole rescue thing, is that people normally just kind of always try to go for it, and that's what normally kind of like screws up a match very quickly. Okay, and to all those people out there who complain about hunters that are at least always near people if they're chaired, how about you shut up and actually play hunter as long as a normal main hunter does? Because at least then you see the struggle of trying to at least make sure everybody is killed at the end of the game. Because if you leave them, there's bound to be somebody out there who's gonna rescue. And it's not like you can see where everybody is the moment you chair somebody. Every survivor normally can see exactly where that person is, and depending on a certain skill, you can see where others are. The moment the hunter is completely out of view, people normally go in for that save. Don't blame us hunters for at least wanting to win a game. And again, to those people out there who think certain sides are overpowered, you are just very uneducated about the whole point of this game. Everybody is overpowered. This is practically the easier version of playing Dead by Daylight. Survivors and Dead by Daylight, their skills just help them out with the chase. And here, survivor skills are normally meant to help with dealing with the hunter, period, with screwing them up, stopping them in their place, all the BS. Have you literally seen a character in Dead by Daylight who can literally shoot the hunter to stun them? Or at least a survivor that can pick whatever the fuck they normally want out of the chest, like Lucky Guy can. No. So quit complaining that either side is stronger than the other. Where did I see that? Okay. Looks like I got eyes on one relatively close. They're over here. <laughs> Good thing I walked over this way. Get your ass over here. Okay, looks like I got that bubble. What even is that? I need to go check that after this is done. Motherfucker! Okay, you're going down now. Because you're p you've already pissed me off. What the f- How did I not hit you? Okay, now I got a fucking hit. God damn. How the hell did I miss? Okay, finally dealt with her. Or him. Ain't no judging. I just kind of prefer the female hunters. Say in the comments whether or not you're actually going to save up for the two new survivor and hunter pair. Because I know I'm going for those two. As for anybody who legitimately has seen my Instagram account, you know that I am an artist. And having the painter as a survivor, that's just, that's just good vibing right there. Okay, two survivors done. I might not get a perfect win on this from the looks of it. I don't want to take my chances and leave. Like I said. Um. Hi. I see you. You ain't fooling me. <laughs> the moment you touch her, I'm about to bitch slap you in the next week. You did nothing! Fuck. 
I missed. Hi. How are you? Ah! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, you. You mother sucker. Oh, I did not realize there was a seer in the match! Fuck! Ugh. Motherfucker. I'm lagging so hard right now. There we go. I don't care anymore at this point. I just want to get her out so badly now. Chair, chair, chair. There you were. Yes, and I, for those who are probably, I'll have a little more of a keen eye than me. God damn. Why does it seem like every survivor I ever catch are like super strong when it comes to wiggling? I'll tell you one thing, every time I've struggled, the hunter never really stuttered in their movements. What the fuck? Is it just because I play, play mechanic, like, the semi-weak one? Oh, I see tracks. Hello, priestess. Fucking hell. Uh, I might be able to get a tie at this point. Looks like she's semi-smart. Fuck. Gotcha. I actually kind of like this skin. It looks pretty weird. I'd like to call it like a Twisted Wonderland look, maybe. Like, if it was kind of like her horns of like purple, I would have called her like a, t a freaking Cheshire cat. <laughs> I'm surprised that last lever hasn't gone done yet. Hmm. I think they're all aiming the. Oh, hello! Fuck you, I'm going to get a tie! Fucking hell. Okay, I don't know how to move at this point! That's the F. Okay. I want to take a round and guess that somebody's over here. Oh, hello! Hello! God fucking damn it. Gotcha! Oh, that felt good. On to the chair we be going. Motherfucker. On you go. And yes, I, I run detention. Okay, so it was a tie. Not the best that I could have gone, but hey, this is rank mode. I play to win. Mostly like everybody else. Narrow victory. <laughs> I'll take it. Wait, did I like not get points out of that? Oh yeah, I did. I'm actually still kind of wondering what the sculptor's main ability is actually going to end up being. Hmm, are you? Logic path. That something that you can hear right now is actually my dog sleeping. <laughs> so if anybody's wondering, someone's just bashing on something nearby me, that's just my pooch.
Okay. Do, 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 do. Open up. Huh. Another scan for the explorer. After the game has finally realized that I'm a decoder main. And it's just like, eh, we know you're gonna get explorer at some point. <laughs> and seriously, we seriously need some more decoders. Okay. Please no. This is the only good one to have. Literally, in my opinion. <sighs> we really need more decoders, because like compared to all the other groups, this is dumb. This is how many rescuers we have. This is how many containments we have. This is how many assist people we have. You wanna know how many decoders we have? <coughs> this many. <coughs> Which I find retarded. Seriously, you're, you always end up getting the one free, so there's always those. Now there's only four other ones that have been added on besides the free category. WTF. And I know, I mean, hey, the colors are pretty OP in their own way just because they can get the doors open quicker. But just because they're slightly overpowered don't mean we should have a limited supply of them. I mean, look at everyone that's under the containment category altogether. And plus our new survivor. Hey, yeah, I could actually go buy her in the shop right now if I legitimately want to, but I, I suck at actually containing the hunter. I don't care, I'm hunter main. I normally just, I'm just gonna stick to doing survivor whenever I have my friend over, if we can't do duo hunters. And with her, she more or less is simping over Asaf and Joseph, so my best case scenario, my best guess, more or less, of her first hunter is going to be Joseph. She already had such an issue saving up for Asaf because this woman doesn't play as often as I do. <laughs> and she was pissed when I showed her that I fully ranked up in Survivor. <laughs> This is just how I am compared to my friends, is that I'm the gamer, I'm the one who doesn't really have much of a social life these days. I don't normally go at, out there and just talk. I am just, more or less, just working on stuff at home. Sometimes just waiting for a commission so I can start earning some money for my supplies, all that stuff. Okay, we have Red Church again as the map. Are we? How's... Are we- were we seriously about to have a full team of doctors? <laughs> okay. So we got two doctors, a gardener, and a mind's eye. This ought to be interesting. I know one thing, I definitely gotta try and get the mind's eye first. Cause as hunter, decoders... are straight up on that list of get rid of first because with them they'll they'll definitely lessen the amount of the match time but I still gotta be careful if I find someone else random get them out me as a hunter I normally don't always go crazy over who I find oh found somebody I think that was the doctor. Let's see. Okay, she wasn't hiding. Um, are you serious? Okay, this person is new. Fucking whoa! Down you go! Okay. No hate against going into the cabinets, but here's the thing. If you plan to make a quick hide in the cabinets, 
Here's a lesson from Hunter Main. We see your trails if you're on the run animation. If you want to quickly like duck in there, if you feel like the hunter's coming close to your location, switch over to crawl or walk. Because otherwise, you're going to give yourself away super easily. Yeah, that was definitely gonna be a miss. Okay, how the fuck did I miss that myself? What the where'd she go? Bash that. Phew, finally got you. I saw that you had gone past the line. So you should be gone now. Yep. got anybody hiding over here? Okay, no trails. Nobody was over here. Uh, looks like somebody went on that cipher. I'd be coming. And to those of you who are probably paying attention to my screen, yeah, you probably do see that I have teleport as my ability. I try to save it up for like that last moment during the game when all, all ciphers are done, people are running for the doors and all that. Because normally I like to make a quick guess right off the bat and hopefully try to cut them off because I have detention as my add-on skill and the skills that I run, all that. How the fuck did I miss that? Okay, okay, three ciphers done. That is not 100% great. Let's see. Oh, she's smart. She knows what I was doing. I come! How the fuck did I miss? Where the fuck you going? Fucking hell! My leg makes this so hard sometimes. possible. Oh my lord. This one is god a dodging. Where'd he F you at? Jeebus Krispies. What the fuck? Get this out of my sights. You get over here. Holy hell. How the earth did this happen? Oh. There she goes. got her. Oh boy. That was a chase. Oh my word. Well, I can see that someone's right there. Looks like this gardener is in like, well how me as a gardener destroy every chair I come across. <laughs> I see y'all are done. I'm just gonna take the draw. Because, hey, take it if you got it. I see you, Mind's Eye. And hello to you, too. Oh, don't wanna try me? Escape while you can. I pay attention. 
seriously. This is my opinion. If you see the hunter has red eyes, don't try. Just escape. Especially if they're like me and they camp people that they have in the chairs. Seriously, the moment you realize that they have detention, get the fuck out of there. Do not try to like go back and probably hopefully get them. Just escape. That's all you can legitimately do. Because all you have to do is aim up right and you're dead. Is that door open? I don't look like it. Where did the mind's eye go? I see you. Did you get that door open? Oh, looks like I get the one after all. And game developers, I ask you very kindly, can you change the fact of all the characters moaning if they're in the injured state or knocked down? Cause like, playing as long as I have, I don't necessarily have fun listening to my characters practically moan. Seriously, I don't think anybody has any fun with that. I believe it's very odd and creepy sometimes. Cause like, let's face it, one of these characters is not necessarily of perfect age. I'm looking at you, Tracy. <laughs> I feel like that feature should really just not exist. <laughs> okay. Okay, I successfully have gotten the matte yellow and shadow and pond skin. I'm trying my hardest to actually make it up and get the candy girl skin, because I want that for my mechanic, so I can use the A tier perma reward and just get a good skin for my geisha. Because let's face it, I'm probably not going to be buying many other characters at this point in my life, because... I mean, I got the ones that I do good at, and all that, so hey, why change what already works? Because I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, this skin I actually really like. It's well designed and whatnot. Okay, why do I feel like this is farther back than it should be? She's far back too, what the fuck? Okay. This is like my only small issue is with Mechanic on one of her skins for the Call of the Abyss. I mean, I don't call it like a, a major problem. I don't know if I already like spoke of this, but like if you pay attention to her skin dance like this she's standing on her tippy toes in the heels look at that she's on her tippy toes in the heels I mean I get it that you needed to raise her feet up since she was gonna wear heels apparently for this design but like you raised it up a little too high my dudes and my other question is why the fuck is she wearing heels in the first place I mean I get it she's a girl but like She's wearing a suit. Wouldn't that mean that she should need, like, maybe boots? Or just dress shoes? I feel like that would have fit way better with this design than heels. I mean, here with, like, the cutting smile skin, she's not wearing shoes to even begin with. They, with that, it kind of fits with design. She looks crazy. She doesn't look like she's mentally stable. Why would she have normal shoes on? It makes sense. But, like, I mean, I get it, not every design's always gonna be 100% perfect in the make sense category. Looking at all of the ugly colored recolor skins that exist. 
This game I kind of just don't understand the whole design aspect that they did. I mean, I've never seen a pair of socks that go up to that height or they nearly hit your knee in that design. Literally not every skin's always going to be a 100% perfect. This is it. I kind of like it because of the overalls, but like, mixed in with the shirt, I don't really think it fits too well. This skin here, it looks good. It looks natural. It looks like it could legitimately be someone going out there and picking an outfit. This coloration... I mean, I kind of like the idea that it's supposed to be like a biker in a way. But like, I just don't feel like it fits too well being placed into this skin redesign kind of thing. This, I like. It fits well. It looks natural. This I also like. It looks pretty well. You get the feeling that this does make sense. This also works pretty well. It looks natural. It, it fits. We got another one that looks natural. It fits. It looks well. I myself, I don't necessarily understand the whole flowy back piece. Can you take off the makeup? Because that just does not work for you, my dude. Where can I actually get you? Okay. Hmm. That skin I like. I would buy it. But I like my bounty under skin. This is that one that I don't necessarily understand why they made the shoes white. I mean, as accent colors, yeah, it would make sense. But, like, accent colors are supposed to, like, work and not make it look kind of, like, odd. I mean, her white outfit is mostly black, and the white is for, like, the shirt, her hair, the accent on her cap and goggles, but then as white shoes, it kind of stands out way more. <laughs> and then there's just recolor skins. I don't have much to say with this one. Worn clothes, yeah, that's normal. This is the one that I don't necessarily like seeing. It just doesn't necessarily look too good with the blue hair being matched in with it. I mean, I get it, overalls are naturally blue, and you try to make sure your skin normally match the whole color focus. But with the hair, I feel like they should have, like, just toned it down, like, maybe to black. At least then it would have somewhat looked more natural compared to the bright blue je overall jeans. <laughs> Like how I think with this, because the overalls are blue, they're how they're naturally supposed to be, but like the hair doesn't match with it. So hey, it looks natural, it looks like it could legitimately be something that this girl picked out as an outfit. And here, here's another case of, like, it looks natural. I mean, I get it, certain skins are not supposed to really look natural, they're supposed to look out there like crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Buzz, buzz, buh, buh, do, 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 do. Let's see how good my luck is today. I blew. So it's nothing good. I already have that, damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah. In any case, that's been the video today, people. I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely week, a lovely month, and a lovely lifetime. This is the Demon, signing out. Bye!